Hey gang, it's Wade Platt here on a special video today, a little product review. The fine folks at H and Charge sent me their cocktail smoker kit. As many of you know, I'm a longtime bartender and I've bartended on a Las Vegas Strip for like 15 years now and worked some high-end cocktail lounges where we've done some smoking at cocktails. And we've used the classic smoking gun, which is a little more cumbersome, a little harder to use. I think the folks at H and Charge have something really uh, cool here as far as smoking cocktails. So let's jump in and see what is in the box. Open her up real quick. First, you get a little car that welcomes you to the smoke show. They do have a QR code on the bottom. You can watch a little video, kind of walks you through the process. Or on the back side of the card, they kind of, again, walk you through the process of how to uh, use this kit. Uh, first thing I noticed when I opened the kit was it came with butane. How many times do you get a gift? No batteries included. Well, they included the batteries, thank goodness. Uh, next is the torch itself. It's a four burner torch. Real nice. This uh, reminds me of some of the high end cigar torches I used to see in, in some of the lounges I worked. Uh, next is the main apparatus, the smoking apparatus itself. It comes into three pieces. There's the bottom. They have a little mesh thimble where you put your chips in and then the top. And the way the bottom is cut, it can fit on any size glass, whether a classic you know, rocks glass, snifter, even a tumbler, martini glass, uh, really works great with a ton of different glasses. They also give you a couple of these mesh thimbles, replacement thimbles, and they give you a little wire brush. There's a vent hole in there you might you know, need to clean out, and they give you a little brush to clean. And then finally, they give you smoke chips. They say you just need a pinch, so there's quite a few. You can do a lot of cocktails with just this little uh, thing of uh, chips. This is oak. Uh, and a perfect segue to the rest of their product line, if you want to try other woods like applewood, cherrywood, hickory, mesquite, they sell that on their page. I'll, I'll have a link to that uh, down below. But they sell the various woods. So if you want to try something else besides oak, that, that is an option for you. Uh, they also sell something real cool, an infusion bottle. It's a special two-piece bottle. They have like almost like a gin basket in the bottom of the bottle, and you can infuse with their different woods. They also have cinnamon, other spices. So if you like playing around with infusing your own whiskeys at home, uh, Asian Char can definitely help you out with that. And they also sell something real cool. They sell like a mini whiskey barrel, bigger than my uh, beer barrel up there, that is big enough that you can put multiple cocktails inside. They have like a little window that opens up, and then you would set this apparatus on top and you can smoke multiple cocktails so if you love having cocktail parties and you know want to kind of play around that is definitely an option for you again i will leave links down below uh to their page you can see all their fine products so that being said let's get out everything And let's use our aged and charred smoking kit to smoke some bourbon. So we're going to put this on top. I've got a weeded bourbon. It's a little softer. So again, the smoke should add some nice complexity. We're just going to add a little pinch of some oak chips. All right, we're starting to get some smoke, and then you'll just cover that up. And see, we're starting to smoke. Uh, they suggest no more than 20 seconds on smoking, or it might get a little too potent. We're going to leave this for about another five or so seconds. Voila, that smoke, I love how that smoke just kind of sits there. Oh, this is like this is like a campfire. Let's give her a try. Oh, that is just like drinking by a campfire. The smoke's subtle, but it's there. Really cool little uh, cocktail kit. Just adds a nice layer of complexity uh, to whatever spirit of choice you have. Thumbs up, Agent Chard. Well, with that being said, uh, 
one of the things when you have one of these kits is you always want to experiment. So I thought what we do here uh, before we wrap up the video is try an experiment. Now, what they talked about in their kits and in, in smoking most time generals, either cocktails and or spirits. But if you're if you're regular uh, to the channel, you know that I, I like a certain German style beer called Rausch beer, which is a smoked, they use smoked malt. It's a maltier beer. So I'm gonna take a brown ale and we're going to smoke a beer and see how that comes out. All right, I'm not getting too aggressive with my pour. I'm only plenty of headspace. And more importantly, um, I want to leave some of that carbonation. We're going to just throw in a few more. Oak chips there. All right, let's give this a try again. All right. With that set for a minute. It's kind of subtle. Let's give her a try. Again, just a slight layer of complexity, but I've always liked when malt meets smoke. That That's kind of nice. Uh, I would definitely love to play around with some other woods, Hickory Warver, which they do sell. But what a great little kit. Real, as you can see, real easy to use. Uh, a lot of versatility. You, you, you can you know smoke some other things. Uh, so to wrap up, uh, Asian Chard Cocktail Smoker Kit, check out the page. I'll have a link down below to the page. Uh, I, do I do have to uh, let you know up front, if you do click on that link and purchase something that does help the channel, we thank you in advance. They are also running a special between now and Valentine's Day. And I will leave a link down below where you can get an additional 10% off of that already low price between now and Valentine's Day. Great gift for the whiskey lover in your life. Well, with that being said, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Also, please like the video because it lets YouTube know we're putting out good content. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comment section or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Till next time, bottoms up.